couple of years ago, after that I fell in love with records and the analog world, I spent most of my time to figure out how to set up correctly a turntable. I found hundreds of videos and thousands of different opinions about how to do it. And everything led me to the conclusion that all that were just valid averages. And first of all, there is any normative. And then coming from a service engineering background, where as technicians I used to repair for more than 20 years automotive and semiconductors industrial machines that are much more complicated than a turntables. And what I learned over almost 20 years is that the best way to set up something or doing something is be able to understand where you are and where you are going. I'm speaking about a diagnostic tool and I found something really interesting that I would like to share with you. So subscribe to the channel to support my work and let's do it. First of all, I want to say thank you to Mr. Richard Mack that gave me the possibility to test his tools. He is the CEO of Analog Magic, the software that we are going to review today. Richard is a businessman and a professional audio writer for uh, various magazines. Maybe you hear about Mono and Stereo or Part Times Audiophile. A true music and audio enthusiast that after thousands of professionals high end turntable calibrations comes with the idea of a calibration software. Entitled to bring over the world's cases full of diagnostic tools, so he wanted something that is for sure portable, decided to brought together a team of experts from over the world to bring this ambitious project. Only one cartridge setup software and test LP and test the release number two. But before to move and tell you what is Analog Magic, I want to be clear that this is a software, is a distortions analyzer that is coming with a not a pretty affordable price, let's say like that. I will add the link in descriptions if you need more information and the retail price of today is around $1,100. That probably make it not affordable, but really cheap if compared to professional distortions analyzer that cost three or four times more. In any case, I'm here to share just my journey, my experience with this type of distortions analyzer and why I think that this is probably one of the best way, if not the best way to set up a turntable. So what is Analog Magic? Analog Magic is a software program which is fine tunes all the analog setup parameters in one package, a tool that is able to measure the distortions level before and after an adjustment. So it's helping you to achieve a perfect cartridge setup by minimizing the distortions level. So a distortion analyzer rather than your ear, something that you can see, that you can read for setup anything regarding a cartridge alignment. Analog Magic comes in a beautiful box with inside a USB license K and two test LP for 33 and 45 RPM. The only things that you will need to purchase separately is the sound card. Ah, I forget to say that it is only for Windows. And the Analog Magic team designed the software to work with the ART Phono Plus USB sound card. And actually I asked them why they choose this one. Well, they was looking for something affordable, it has a retail price of around 100 bucks, so it is. They test many sound cards and they found this one is really reliable and was measuring good. And it's also a phono preamp, but we are going to use it just like a analog to digital converter, so we are going to disable the phono input. Also, you will need to install the drivers from Analog Magic and not the official from ART. Don't forget about it. But we will not speak about this because this is not the tutorial. There is already tutorials on the Analog Magic website that is in descriptions and is really well done. So basically, to play with Analog Magic, we need to connect our phone stage to the input of the ART sound card that it will do just an analog to digital converter for Analog Magic software. To avoid to make this video really too long, I will let also in descriptions the data interpretations and how to understand the analog magic distortions analyzer. Done great and let me figure out the software on my own. Basically, analog magic is based on intermodulation distortion that is very, very sensitive to the cartridge alignment. Distortion that will be finally visible on the analog magic software and what we want to do is minimize these distortions, right? So let's take a look of the software and what we can do with it. Above right we have a start and settings buttons. 
we use start when we are ready to perform the measures. So there we have a left volumes and right volumes. And here we can monitor the volumes, the gains level of the sound card. Something that you will notice also on the software when the gain is too high. And the only things that you want to do is lower the gain trim on the ART USB 4 Plus. On the right we can find all the programs that we can run with Analog Magic. And above on the left the instructions. Speed, for example, in a turntable is a must to have. Otherwise, you will have a wrong pitch, right? And there are many ways to do it. One of these, probably you know it, is by using this sort of strobo disc. That is, let's say, fine, but the accuracy is based on a visual observations. And you do it with the cantilever, not on the record surface, where the tracking force may cause a less accuracy. What Analog Magic is doing is measures the test tone that is on the LP that is 3150 Hz that match 33.33 RPM and 45 RPM. And all you have to do is adjust the speed of your tune tables if you have the possibility to match this frequency. And by having the cantilever inside the grooves is the most accurate way to do it. Another great thing is the possibility to measure the zenith angle. Probably you saw this protractor, right? And I used to use this to align my cartridges. So what I can do with analog magic is to measure actually on the first null point the intermodulations distortions. Plus I can check it on track 4 and 5 that are the inner grooves of the record to see if I did a good work. And no, most of the times with this one is fine, but I noticed that going to check on the inner tracks I have an intermodulation distortion that is pretty high. So something like 2% on the first null points and when I'm going closer to inner grooves is something like 10%, so pretty high. And here is where also analog magic that suggests to use the smart tractors that is also really expensive, something like 700 bucks. When I saw it, I said, wow, okay, no way to afford this. It's nice because you have the possibility to set also a microscope on it and really check to be really, really precise, but no way that I can afford something like that. I found this one is not the same of the smart tractors, but I found it really nice. And first of all, easy to use it. Also, it's full aluminum is not paper, something like that, that is really fine if you have a entry level turntables, I always use this, but when you move to really high end stuff, then probably is better to be, yes, more precise, because you are going to spend really thousands of money on turntable and cartridges and you need the best way to do it. Overall, it's really interesting how many things I noticed and, and saw with the distortions analyzer, things that I was even take it in consideration before, because as soon you don't measure, you don't know, right? So generally after the alignment, what I want to do is check the cross talk between left and right channels. And here the secret is to have the cross talks of the channels close together as possible. I was usually using this tool for sure, you know it, right? It's based on the fact that the cantilever is aligned with the body of the cartridge, right? Something that is not always like that, unfortunately. Also is based on a visual inspections. And I don't know you, but most of the times is, yes, I see it, but it's something that is like that, right? Yeah, it's okay, let's move on. But to be really precise, the only way is to use a distortions analyzer. Of course, you will need also tone arm with an adjustable azimuth angle. Moving on VT8, it is probably the most interesting features of the software and have a lot about VTA is, is really funny because here is where everybody told me a different way to do it. But the problem of the microscope that is based on a static image and as soon the stylus hit the records it will change the angle. Another myth is that the tone arm should be parallel to the surface of the record. But all these are approximations and I love that Anal Magic is based on a simple rule that the best VTA is the one with the less intermodulations distortions. And here all you have to do is lift or lower the tone arm till you achieve the lowest intermodulations distortions. And it's working, oh yeah, perfectly and is reliable. So every time I check it, I will have always the same number. And interesting, I compare it after I did it with Analog Magic also again with this tool where you can measure also the VTA. 
So closer, but not perfectly like that. So it's a good tool. Actually, yes, for a basic calibrations is is working great, but it's not perfect for a fine tuning, right? Anti-skating is another debate, right? Also here, many way to do it. I, how I was do it uh, with the test LP where you got this empty surface without grooves. And I never understood if I was doing correctly or not because every cartridge was just working in a different way. With Analog Magic, you have the possibility to check the THD of left and right channels. And what you want is playing on the anti-skating till you have the two channels within 0.1 and 0.2%. And all these tests that are showing you, as I told you in the beginning of the video, you can perform it for 33 RPM and for 45 because it's coming with two LP. So you have a double check comparison. Another interesting test is resonance. And here we have to speak about matching the tone arm with the cartridges. Something that probably will make this video too long, but I will let in descriptions the orthophone article that is really, really well done. Basically, you want to maintain this resonance between 7 and 12 Hz. And this is done by matching the tone arm with the correct cartridges. There are many ways to calculate this resonance frequency, and one of these is this formula, where you will need to know the total tone arm system mass and see that it is the compliance of the cartridges, something that you will find it on the specs. Problem of this formula is basically that it doesn't take in consideration the resonance materials of the tone arm and temperature and pressures plus other things and this make it really not quite accurate with my project rpm 9 for example that has a carbon tone arm and the ana sl i calculate a resonance frequency of 10.63 hertz and was this correct nope by testing with analog magic the resonance you have the possibility to play a test tone that is going from 7.5 to 35 hertz so I was looking at the cartridges playing this tone and around 13 Hz it started to vibrating like crazy. And I say, oh my God, I never saw something like that. So I was know about this compliance that's really important and the resonance, but I never saw it with my eyes. And here you cannot check only the lateral resonance, but also the vertical one. I was really shocked. And this is just for giving you an idea. And Using this software, you will find yourself actually going back, back and forth from all these passages, right? Because it's always not easy to understand how 3D is working. So you, I found myself actually jumping from VTA adjustment to anti-skating to tracking force and all this stuff because everything is correlated. But be able to visualize and reading what I'm doing make me feel no more like swimming by night in the ocean. Yes, you can use your ears, but this it will make more times because you have to try. Plus, ears are not reliable, are crazy. Believe me, I reviewing ears, I know what I'm telling you. And this setup, what I can achieve here on my service desk is ready to go. I connect it and it will sound just amazing. Regarding some comparison, night and day difference. Not only the sound stage was more open, but the imaging localizations was just crazy. These are the two things that I really noticed it immediately. Plus, of course, details and a more consistent reproductions through all the tracks. Most of the problems I had always on the last tracks on the inner groove records, right? There is where I had very high distortions most of the time. So the idea to check and measure the distortions about your adjustment let me save a lot of time.
So in the end, a really positive experience with analog magic. This is a game changer. I don't use it only for setup cartridges, but also for my review to check vibrations problems and performing speed stability test. I really didn't want to go too much in deeps. There is still a lot of things that we can do it on analog magic that we didn't saw in this review, but I didn't want to do something really annoying for you. From it out is everything. I hope you find this video interesting. If yes, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to support my work and if you have any questions just let me know. From it out is everything, peace.